The 22nd of this month marks our 18 months together in a long distance relationship. It hasn't been easy at all to maintain this relationship. Because although there are good times, there are also bad times. But through both of these experiences, we've matured as not only together, but also individually. Calvin and I met through a very unexpected moment in life. Um, I still remember it was in 2013, in November, when I was so hyped about Frozen. I was writing for a fanfiction about Jack and Elsa, and somewhere along the way I met this fanboy who was just as crazy were these two, and he was familiar with my work. And one day, the fanboy and I decided we would finally Skype each other while he was having a free time on campus. And I remember clearly during that call that some guy behind him screamed, Hey, who is that? Introduce me to her. That guy happened to be Calvin. I knew he had a thing for me, but I wasn't interested at the time because I was so into nursing school, and that kept me busy a lot. And on top of that, I was mainly focused on my hobbies such as writing stories and singing on YouTube, and that was about it. At one point, Calvin actually flew into California to study in Cal Poly Pomona. We had an opportunity to meet each other in person, but it didn't happen as we had hoped it would. Emily and I were not experienced on the freeway, and on top of that, our GPS installed in the car, and we had no data on our phone, caused us to go on the wrong freeway and end up being so frustrated in the situation and me feeling so anxious meeting him made me back out of meeting him. At the time, I didn't really care because I wasn't interested in him, although I can't deny that I thought he was really cute, but I was just... but I couldn't handle it at the time. It wasn't until December of 2015 that we actually... we got back and communicated again together, and that's when I knew he was flying back to Indonesia due to family matters. And we started talking more from there. So leading into January of 2016, Calvin and I have been talking. And I remember one night we decided to be open with each other and he confessing that he used to like me. And I was like, yeah, that was pretty obvious, I knew. <laughs> and at that moment, I don't know why, but it suddenly hit me that this guy that I was talking to was someone I really liked. And I just thought, you know, since we're already a long distance, it's kind of too late to do anything about it. Well, I'll just tell him how I feel now. I really didn't think it through, I just thought I don't want to keep holding on to these feelings and just end up being hurt about it later, so I just decided to just get it off my chest and tell him. Turns out Calvin was so surprised by it that he really wanted to know me better and get to know everything. Like, we were making up for the things we've lost in the past, and the closer we got, the more his feelings came back for me. And eventually, on January 22nd, we were officially in a long-distance relationship. I would say majority of our relationship has an equal amount of happiness and sadness. There were a lot of moments that we argued and bickered, but in the end, we fought our way through to understand each other and love each other. Then we began. Dork. <laughs> love you. <laughs> Calvin overall has made me really happy. I am really grateful that I found a love that is so true and unconditional. I'm really grateful that I have a partner who can love me at my best and even more so at my worst. And even during those times that he cannot stand me, he tries his best to listen and take care of me. And he does his complete best to make me really happy. I can never be thankful for that, truly. Keep talking. <laughs> oh, come on. I am now a Stupid. <laughs> You're not Shrek enough. I love all the moments where he serenaded to me. I love how he found memes or videos that made me laugh so hard or made me tear up and feel emotional about it. These are the moments that are very dear to me because 
these moments, as they are for now, are very intimate moments that we can share together. And even more so, we can finally be together in person. It's just crazy how it's a week and I can finally see him. It hasn't really hit us yet. I feel like it won't hit me until I'm getting ready to leave on my plane to Indonesia. And for him, he told me it hasn't hit him until he finally has me in his arms. And I'm really excited to see him. And that's all I can share for now. And um, Calvin, if you're watching this, really, dude, love. <laughs> really love. I'm really grateful for all you've done for me. I love you so much. Thank you for always being patient with me and for always finding ways to make me laugh, even at times when I'm being a hard-headed butt. Thank you for all your effort and for always doing your best to make me happy, because you do. I'm really glad we gave us a second chance. And I'll see you soon. To my friends out there and viewers, I hope you guys can continue to support us because I really want to share this amazing moment with you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And hopefully, it'll be the one that's the most unforgettable memory I will have for the longest time. So I'll see you guys and thank you for watching. Bye!